Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and in the FPV community there is a popular opinion that 6S is better than 4S because you get more power, you are able to fly much longer, it's much more efficient and just you have to migrate everything you have running on 4S to 6S and you will be super happy. And well... Like with quite a lot of the opinions, there is something in it, but it's not exactly what the physics and the reality offers. Because the statement that 6S is better than 4S is true, uh, but it's true in much less of the scope than a lot of people are really realizing and to be able to compare if the 4s is more efficient well, 6s is more efficient than the 4s we actually have to go to the science and start comparing apples with apples because very often those comparisons are really comparing apples to oranges but before we will go any further, I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as 2 bucks a month. Yes, the misconceptions. There are two major misconceptions about the whole idea that 6S is much better than 4S. The first misconception is that thanks to the higher voltage, we are getting much more power from our motors. And the second misconception is that thanks to much lower current, we are getting much more efficient flight. And both of those misconceptions can be, well, actually rejected with one statement. Voltage does not fly your quad. Current does not fly your quad. What flies your quad is power. Power that is transferred from the electricity, electric power, to the mechanical power of the motor and then the prop propeller and then the force generated by the propeller. And the power is the result of the multiplication of the voltage and current. That means if you have 1 volt and 2 amps, it's exactly the same power as 2 volts and 1 amp. And if we have a quad and the quad requires 200 watts of power, mechanical power to keep it in the air, it will require exactly 200 watts of the power, no matter if this is powered by 1S, 2S, 3R, 4S, 6 or even 8. The power has to be equal. Of course, as long as the weight and the propellers, the efficiency of the mechanical part is basically the same. That means if we want to compare 6S quad with the 4S quad, we have to make the quads as similar as possible. That means if we have increased the voltage by 50% because we went from 4 cells to 6 cells, we have to adjust something else to make the comparison, well, true and equal. First of all, the current. Yes, because we want to keep the power the same and we increase the voltage, we have to lower the current. If we increase the voltage by 50%, we have to lower the current by one third because 4S has one third less of the cells than the 4S. So for example, if our 4S quad requires 21 amps to fly, we will need more or less 14 amps to fly on the 6S quad. Now, the battery. Uh, if you just replace the 1.5 amp hour 4S battery with 1.5 amp hour 6S battery, you are not only increasing the and the voltage, you are also increasing the amount of the energy the voltage is storing. It will be heavier, yes, but it will hold 50% more of the energy. And thus, if you compare the weights of only the quad with the battery and the without battery, it will make the comparison kind of unequal. So, the equivalent of the 4S 1.5 amp hours battery on the 6S is only 1 amp hour battery. And then, assuming that the energy density of both batteries is exactly the same, the batteries will weight exactly the same and 
hold exactly the same amount of energy inside. Yes, the current will be lower, the suck will be to some extent lower, but because we are using smaller cells, they will have slightly greater internal resistance that will one more time equalize everything. So, battery has to be smaller with 4S, with 6S, comparing to the 4S. On top of that, we also have to adjust the KV of the motor. Because if you do not adjust the KV of the motor, you are really not comparing exactly the same thing. So, equivalent of the 4S 2400 kV motor is only 1600 kV on the 6S. If you do not do that and for example use the higher kV motor than 1600, that means you are greatly increasing the maximum power the quad can output and most probably also your flying style and this is probably some place when you feel that it's flying so much better because it has so much power. Why? Because you have not really adjusted the KV. On the other hand, if you use the smaller KV motor, well, you are delivering much less of the maximum power from the quad and thus it might kind of feel that is more efficient because you are flying much longer thanks to lower KV motor and most probably also the higher energy in the bigger battery already. And then when we adjust really everything, you will notice that the 4S quad and the 6S quad should deliver exactly the same performance. Because higher voltage, lower current means the power, electrical power stays the same. Lower KV of the motor with the higher voltage means that the RPM, the rotation speed of the motor should be more or less the same as on the 4S. With the same rotation speed and the same propeller, we are generating exactly the same amount of the thrust because the RPM of the motor is the same and the propeller doesn't really care about the current and voltage you used. Because you used a smaller battery, lower capacity, but higher voltage and the same energy density, the batteries more or less weight the same and as the result the whole quad weights the same. So, where's the difference? What is really the difference and why? Yes, to some extent the 6S is actually better, but not that much better as you might expect. And the difference is the efficiency of the wires and the MOSFETs and everything used. Resistance. Resistance, voltage drop and the power loss thanks to the resistance of the wires and the MOSFETs. We will now go through the kind of interesting example of how changing the voltage from 15 to 22 and a half volts affects everything and how much better the 6S actually is. Bear in mind, we will for now completely ignore the resistance of the MOSFETs used because we don't want to go that road, mainly because we don't know. And we will also ignore the resistance of the motors, but from different reasons, because lower KV motor has the higher resistance. So the voltage drop will be actually higher, but we do want to drop all the voltage on the motor. So the resistance of the motor, assuming that the KV is adjusted uh, correctly, is absolutely irrelevant to our examples. What we will be talking about is the power loss on the wires of the quad. But before all that, let's go through the basic equations we will have to use. First of all, power equals voltage times current. On the same time, power equals voltage squared divided by the resistance. As you can see, we can get rid of the current completely from the equation to compute the power. Then, mechanical power, the one that the propeller will take from our motor, equals angular velocity times torque. Because we are adjusting the KV of the motor to compensate for the voltage and the current changes, we are more or less keeping the torque at the same level. And because 
of the KV adjustment, we are also keeping the angular velocity, the speed of the motor, at the same level. So this is another proof that at the output power should stay the same. And finally, the equation that allows us to compute the voltage drop. Current times resistance. This will be equation we will be using further down the road. Let's take any example quad. And in this quad we have AWG 14 wire that connects battery to the ESC and AWG 16 wire that connects ESC to the motors. We have more or less 10 centimeters of the AWG 14 five centimeters one way but because the wire goes both ways we have to compute both wires on the on the main uh, energy wire and because we more or less know the resistance of the awg 14 wire we know that the resistance of this very short piece of the wire is 0 0.00083 ohms and because we have three times, because three phases of the motor's wires between the ESC and the motor, each of the length of the seven centimeters, we know that the combined resistance of the wire that connects ESC to the motor is 0 0.002772 ohms. As you can see, we are going into the milli ohms of the resistance over here. And then, when we know the voltage drop equation, which is the current times the resistance, we can compute how much of the voltage will drop on the wires and how much power will be lost to basically heat the wires up. On the 4S and the 21 amps of the current flowing through those wires, we will lose 0.032 of the volt. And on the 6S, because of only 14 amps of the current flowing, we will lose 0.0. .0 21 volts. Not too much, and as you can see, this 32 is basically 50% more than the 21. One more time, this is the linear relationship. If we cut, if we increase the voltage by 50%, the current will also, and the voltage drop in over here, will also adjust accordingly. But how the different voltage drop on 4S and the 6S in this specific example affect our efficiency and the power? Good question. Assuming that we want to have the input power taken from the battery of 315 watts in both cases, after computing the voltage drop, we can compute the effective electrical power that goes into the motor, including the voltage drop on the wire. So instead of 315 watts, we will end up with 314.328 watts. And on the 6S, instead of 315 watts taken from the battery, the motor will get only 314 0.706 watts. As you can see, the efficiency in both of the different voltages is not really that different. Yes, it is different, but on 4S it's 99.786, but on 6S it's 99.906. So, this is exactly what mathematics and physics say. Yes, 6S is more efficient, but 6S is much less efficient than 4S if we go into the real numbers. Of course, to, for those computations I did over there for this math, you have to more or less have two quads that are comparable with each other. And this goes to the first section of this video. If you increase the voltage and you want to keep the same power, you have to lower the current, lower the KV, lower the battery, uh, capacity while keeping the same total energy stored in the battery so that we are really comparing apples to apples, not apples to oranges. And then everything that's left, it's small differences in the motors because motors are not uh, the same. We Even if we get the motor from the same manufacturer that uh, is 2400 and 1600 kV, they might really like slightly different, they might not really be exactly the same, and those this in adds extra difference in this comparison. However, if we really compare what is really different from the electrical point of view, it's only the voltage drop. 
and no. The difference is so small that in the practical terms it's not increasing your efficiency, it's not making your quad fly longer, it's not making your quad more powerful, and I think that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, until the next one, bye bye!